Hello everybody, my name is Magnus, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2. After some more sound difficulties, I am back. I don't know what my computer is doing each time, but thank goodness I actually do a sound check now, and I know what I'm doing, at least a little bit better. Uh, last time we had our first battle, and we met our group of three here. Uh, we found the pink evil gizmo, and, well, possessed the king saved the king, now they're hunting it down. We need to go find Howl, a uh, historian over in Yeel, and that's where we're going to be heading next. Hang it all. We where have all the fish gone? My boss is really upset. Oh, look, there's a little cat. Look at that. I'm so sorry. I have no fish for you today. I don't know why, but we made no haul. So that's also a little bit weird. There's none of that. And then there's an item over here, that's why I went onto the boat. Uh, it's, it's just good to get this now. There's one character that desperately needs this. Um, now, in Shining Force 2, uh, I would have to look at it again. Again, uh, Ski Soccer actually has a character guide for Shining Force 2 as well, using the same uh, stats uh, samples like they did for Shining Force 1, and showing you all the average level ups and everything, and it really tells you Shining Force 2 is way less random uh, with its characters and everything like that when it does its level ups, so uh, it's always good to look into. Uh, but I had to check into it, I don't think that your character's rubber band uh, as much. It is definitely, it's definitely more consistent. Meaning that if I have these stat boosters, it shouldn't affect them as much. Uh, sorry, I was pausing through there. Uh, there we go. Don't listen to what that fortune teller says. She's a liar. Hear what I have to say! I can see the ruins in my crystal! The war! Grancy will fall in the war, believe me! Yeah, I wouldn't believe that, right? Well, look. A shop. Yes, the... Now, the problem that uh, Shining Force 2 has is that it doesn't tell you which shop is which. Now, uh, they have no deals. Oh, uh, but that's fine. Uh, usually, the one on the right is going to be your your item seller here. Uh, who needs... Okay, you need... Uh, and then... Over here. So, uh, I'm going to give Quick Chicken over to the next character that we get, which we'll get in a second. After I go through and get this equipment there. Uh, here, we're going to go ahead and sell. Now, when I say that I won't be aggressing, and I, I think, uh, I, I noticed my misspeak, uh, as I was listening to my last episode. So, I will be, the only time that I will aggress is if there's no way of me winning, and Bowie is the last one. So, if there are other characters and there's no way of winning, or, uh... Or if Bowie's by himself and there's a way of winning, I'm not going to egress. So, make that part very clear. Uh, because that that is a part of the challenge, and I want you guys to know exactly what I'm going to be up to. So if Bowie is like in massive danger, or there's too way too many enemies for him to fight on his own, um, and he's all by himself, yeah, I, I'm going to egress out of that, because it makes no sense to not. Uh, it'll just drag on... Uh, how long it takes to do stuff, especially since I'll be losing a bunch of, uh, money. Alright, I was just making sure that I could buy the equipment like I thought I could. Um, we're gonna buy these guys better equipment now. Uh, Sarah's the only one that doesn't get better equipment, uh, but that's okay. Uh, her usefulness out of whacking things kind of just goes away now. There we go. Short sword. Alright, increases stats pretty good. And then, the awesome short spear for Chester. Now I have a ranged unit. Um, so I won't even be using uh, angel wings. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Is there any empty spaces? Yes. Okay, just what I thought I had, so this should be good. Uh, So, no angel wings or anything else like that. I know a lot of no egress playthroughs allow those angel wings and thing. I'm just not dealing with them. Uh, I'm just gonna make this no egressing, just like the last time. Here you are, I've been waiting! 
That's not a good voice for him. The soldiers said you went into the castle. Is that true? I oh, mean, I used that for a lot of people, but oh well. Oh, I missed it. I would have woken up early if I knew that. So I came to meet you here, Bowie. You're going to yield, right? Under the king's orders. Oh, cool. Of course I'm going too. I don't know how he found that out. Makes no sense. Who would have told Jaha all that stuff? Nobody else knows. Anyways, you get Jaha. The warrior. And just like, uh... Uh... Gort and Luke from the last game, uh, Jaha is your typical infantry upfront fighter. We're gonna give him... That was, uh, the quick chicken, because it increases his agility, and I need him to go faster. Uh, we'll see him in battle, but he's pretty freaking good. Uh, you just... Oh, this is another thing that you have. You can look at your characters <laughs> anywhere that you walk, which is so much better than Shining Force 1. Uh, so I can look at them at a quick glance as I need to instead of having to go to a headquarters or anything. Uh, and as I plus l press left and right, I can actually get their stats so I can directly compare. Um, now that his agility is a 6, he isn't going extremely slow. It, remember, he just gained 2 agility. Uh, so, he was the slowest character on my team. I needed him to go just a little bit faster. This is generally a good idea, uh, if you're trying to either speedrun it or trying to, uh, just... Well, just in general, it's a good idea. Nobody else makes a good use of that quick chicken except for maybe Bowie. Alright, um, so in that case, we're gonna go look at Jaha in this battle. Alright, uh, so, as you can see, uh, Jaha has 9 HP, 14 attack, 7 defense, 6 agility, and has a movement of 5. Uh, so he's slow like your healers, you're gonna see a lot of your infantry like that, not many are as fast as Bowie. Uh, but that's okay, uh, he hits like a freaking truck as you can see, an attack of 14 at level 1, where that's better than anybody else. Uh, a defense of 7, so if we go through and compare, Bowie definitely doesn't have that, and Chester doesn't have that uh, at level 1, so higher defense. Has a little bit lower of HP of 9, that's okay with that higher defense. Uh, and agility was pretty low, uh, at 4 when you get him, gain 2 from the quick chicken. Uh, he is an awesome character to have. Uh, movement is good in these games, but Jaha... But, but being a tank sometimes is also really good, uh, and Jaha can be that tank. He actually gets a lot of defense normally, um, and then when you promote him, he can take on a secondary uh, promotion just like most of your other characters at, at, in your party at this time uh, with the Warrior Pride, and he can either choose to be a Gladiator, I think. I think it was Gladiator, is that, or, or a... Yeah, I think it's Gladiator. Uh, or he could become the much better Baron, where he gains movement. Uh, he loses a little bit on defense, but he keeps this high attack for a while. And he can use multiple weapons later on. Uh, Jaha, I'm going to rate him as a 4 out of 5 star character. And the main thing is, you get him early, he starts off powerful anyway, and the, the more that you level him up as you go through the game, he just gets so much better. Uh, and the bi the fact they can become a Baron with the extra movement, have the multiple weapons, that one weapon can give him extra movement, or he can do extra uh, attack damage, or he can get extra uh, weapons that have uh, spells attached to him, whatever it may be, he is just super reliable. Absolutely super reliable. You cannot go wrong with choosing Jaha on your team. He's, he's one of the more powerful characters that you get. Uh, and you get him right from the beginning, and he's extremely useful. So, that's the reason why I give him a 4 four out of 5 stars. The only thing that he's really missing is having that good movement of some other characters. So if he was a knight, or if he could fly, uh, he would be a 5 out of 5 star. Easy. Because of just the stats that you get him. Um, but because he can't doesn't have all that movement, he's just, just barely missing out on that 5 star uh, quality. Alright. Now we're going to talk about the battle here. So we're going against completely new enemies. Uh, we've got an ooze up here in the north. Uh, so the oozes... Now you're starting to see where super difficulty really hurts. Because the enemies that you're fighting now uh, don't have any weapons. So their attack is generally higher anyway uh, from base. Then add another 25%. So these guys are hitting hard. Alright? So 13 attack, uh, 6 defense, 9 HP... They're pretty difficult to take down unless you gain a couple of levels. Uh, and then the huge rat, they're even worse. 
Uh, these guys are monstrosities uh, for the party at this time. Uh, really, I think Jaha... Uh, Jaha almost dies from a single attack from them. So if an ooze and a rat attacks anybody, they're, they're dead at this point in time. Uh, unless you use terrain. Now that we actually have it, you can see in the top right, or top left corner, sorry, uh, the land effect. Uh, whatever percentage it is, just like in Shining Force 1, you get a boost to your defense. And that's taking your defensive value and adding an extra 15% of that value to your defense at that time. Um, so you definitely, if you're going to go against uh, the rat here, you want to get that 30% defense. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to do a normal strategy up here and kind of lure this ooze down. Because uh, if I attack up here, nobody else is going to be able to help Chester. Uh, and I need people to help. And I need to move up to the north just a little bit as these guys uh, are coming in. Alright. Um, and I'll move Jaha over here. Him with the 15% uh, boost defense, it, he does amazing with it. So, it still takes 5, but it's taking a lot less damage. Yep, definitely not risking it, putting him in that 30%. And then Sarah can safely heal from here. go. Now, if I didn't give Jaha that quick chicken, uh, he may have moved after the ooze, which means that the ooze could have gone into that forest and attacked Chester's, what they normally would have done. I'm surprised it actually didn't do that for, for Jaha, but Chester would have been in more pain than Jaha. Alright, here you go. It's nice to have that range attack for Chester. Uh, really nice. Alright. Uh, and one thing with the AI... These guys will charge. I don't think the giant rat keeps coming towards you. I think he kind of patrols this area until you're in range, and then he shoots right over. This ooze will charge you. Uh, that ooze will charge you. This one will. This one will stay by, and this rat keeps going back and forth here. Uh, sometimes even if you're in range. Uh, but most of the time, if you're in range, it'll start going after you. So you do have to be very careful. Uh, now that nobody's damaged, uh, we're going to just use Sarah to weaken just a little bit. She's still doing an okay amount of damage, but... That she starts to peter off real quick. Oh, I guess he does continue on forward. Alright. Well, we're going to try to stay in the terrain. And hope for no double attacks or critical hits. Alright. Um, it is safe for Jaha to do this. Even if I get counter-attacked, uh, it's, it's not bad for him. I just need to heal him. Uh, we just have to make sure we're out of the range of that rat. Um, the oozes also don't have that much uh, movement. I think they have four. Yeah. The rats, though, have six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so he can attack there and there. Uh, so we want to stay out of that range, uh, but move kind of back south. Uh, now, I could charge here and try to damage, but three against one is not a good idea. Um, so we're going to stick by with the forest here. Do you have a healing herb? Um, actually, I think Sarah will go beforehand. I'm not going to risk it. No, 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 Sarah should go beforehand. This is a little bit more predictable uh, on your turn orders and everything. So the reason why I'm just going to stay here... Yeah, I figured that would happen. Good. Alright, I, I predicted that right. The reason why I'm going to stay back there is... I could move, and I was in good terrain. Uh, but it was... Bowie was too susceptible to being surrounded and attacked by all three of those guys. Right now, only the giant rat can come and attack. Now that the others have gone, though... might be able to eliminate these guys so this is a little bit risky this fight is a lot harder than the uh, not a lot harder this this fights hard uh, in comparison to the first fight and I figured they'd go after Bowie yeah. double attacks or critical attacks it will just kill you in this um, so we're just gonna make sure we heal up Bowie stay in good terrain uh, I took that risk because I know that the oozes aren't going to go until Jaha goes. And, ugh, 
I didn't want that to happen, but I need to- I need to kill this ooze. I need to start thinning them out. You can only run so far. Alright. Uh, now I'm going to go through and focus down on this rat. He poses the largest risk to my team. So we're gonna try to take him out. Alright, so we know they're gonna go after Bowie. Alright. I'm gonna go here. Uh, no, that doesn't make any sense. We're gonna go move him back here. And fire. Ah! Yeah, the dodging kind of sucks in this case. Bowie, now we're gonna take, uh... We're not gonna take the risk. <laughs> and keep him alive. And that's fine. Um... Uh, okay, we're not gonna risk them getting into really good terrain by our hero, because, uh, well, there's... Never mind, apparently it just allowed that to happen. And there's the critical hit. Alright, so he can survive a critical hit. Now, the, I didn't want the huge rat in that terrain, but Jaha does well with it anyway. Ah, and that was kind of a, a low level up. Um, so, like I said, some of your characters when they level up, most of the time they're only going to gain one in each stat. Uh, oh no, no, okay, good. It's just a counterattack. Good. Whew! Uh, we're going to move him back all the way over here, good terrain throw. Good job, Chester. Good job. I forget what I was saying. Alright. Yep, forgot what I was saying. Oh well. Oh, uh, with level ups. Uh, but they have a chance of getting... Uh, so sometimes, they have a decent chance of gaining an extra stat. Uh, so... It... If you're trying to save state abuse, which you can do, and this is a safe place to put him in the heal, I'd rather heal with Sarah to get her experience than just waste medical herbs. Uh, you, you can save state abuse and try to get like a two-pointer in attack or hit points or defense or something like that. Uh, that is pretty viable. And then we're going to move Chester here because he can move a little bit better in the open terrain. Um, but we will put... Jaha in the terrain for them to attack. He basically has the stats of a rat right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty much. Almost exactly. Wow. But now we're going to be all fighting in terrain. That's a good thing. And Sarah's just going to keep healing. And we have to give her some medical herbs. Because she's not, her, her attack's not going to do that. Alright, hit points, magic, everything by one. Okay. So they're they're okay level ups, they're average level ups, and I'll and I'll work with them pretty easily. Uh, but they're not what I want. Alright, uh, now I'll I'll move Chester into the terrain there. Uh, and Jaha into the terrain there. Goes after Jaha, which is good. Ah, oh, I got a crit, of course. That's okay. We're not absolutely safe, but we're pretty safe from, uh, from death here. Okay, I actually need to move Chester over here so Sarah can move next to Bowie. Um, also for the terrain, if you're, you're noticing the decreased amount of movement that you have, uh, you have your movement halved whenever you're going through terrain. Uh, and then it's, I think it's quartered for the, uh, for any of your, I would say mounted, but, uh, your, uh, horse characters. It's not technically mounted. You don't actually have horses in here, you just have centaurs. Alright. I think Jaha kills here. Yes. Okay, good. It was a little bit risky, but I need that rat out. I need that rat dead. Because I think the ooze will kill Jaha. Unless he dodges? Nope. Okay. That's okay. 
I'm okay with re reviving a, uh, a warrior um, if I can go through and kill here. Now you see, Jaha was so good, he just kept gaining levels. Uh, starting with level 1, going up to level 3. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. That's normal for him because of how much damage that he does. Hey, Chester level 3. So he was behind, now he's up, and he gained 2 points of defense, which is fantastic. He needs that. Um, Bowie, uh, Um, I'll try to get Bowie that, that kill here. He needs the experience. Because I need him to survive the entire game. There we go. Ah, uh, still only one stat point in there. That's fine. Alright. Uh, now I'm going to go down, down here. Now normally you would just go up to the top. Uh, but... No, not for me. I'm going to go down here because there's a mithril right here. Don't know why you'd find that out, but uh, I used to go through this game just clicking through everything, and I found out uh, that you can find a mithril in like random places like that. So we went through everywhere. I don't know how we found the other uh, mithril up in that tower, but oh well. Now we have power water. We're gonna save that power water. Power water increases your strength by, it's, I think it's either 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 or something like that. It's a certain it's a certain amount of points. It's not a ton, but it will help, especially in the beginning. Um, we're going to save that for a special character. Alrighty. So that was battle number 2. Easy enough. Uh, did lose Jaha, but I could have saved him. I could have used the medical herb there instead of attacking, but I wanted that huge rat dead. There's a healing seated here. Awesome. Oh, I just wanted to talk. This village is peaceful, but boring. I'm tired of living in such a rustic small village. It really is. Just like chickens here, and that's about it. That's my hen! Don't torment her! cock doo doo Bark, 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 bark. Okay. Hey, look, this piano! May I help you? Oh, hi, kids. Owl? Yes, I know him. He's famous, and he's kind of a screwball. He lives northwest of this village. Can't visit. And so there's some conversations and things like that going on. Soldiers are so cool. That's neat armor. As if we're soldiers. Um, and there's a priest that likes cats. So let's go through and raise Jaha. Now the one thing, uh, one of the major problems that you have, like I said before, uh, in this type of playthrough, is you don't have the money for things. Because th Shining Force seems to have been made with a, with egressing in mind. Uh, that you would normally, I would say probably once every few battles, uh, such as maybe that battle or maybe this next battle coming up, you would egress and come back to gain a couple more levels and to get a little bit more money um, so if anybody was struggling like that's what the, the plan was is that every few battles you would go through and uh, replay them maybe even replay them more than one time uh, I think the shiny force had that in mind unlike something like fire emblem where it's meant to be just played straight through you can't repeat a battle so it's meant to be you can beat this without having to uh, redo anything uh, Shining Force doesn't seem to be, a, uh, at least number two, didn't seem to be made that way, uh, and it's extremely difficult just playing straight through, uh, if you're not used to the game. For those that are used to the game, it's not too terrible, uh, they're not having to replay too many battles, uh, but they're also, they also found ways, or the best ways to play the game anyway, uh, but, yeah, it, I think that's the reason why they have the egress in there for this game. Uh, so that way you can get all that money and everything as as you struggle on through the game. What can I do for you? Oh yes. Oh, you would like to see my master. I don't know why I'm inserting words there. I'm studying at his house. Please follow me. And there's Kazen. Sir Howe lives just outside this village. 
Alrighty. And... That was eccentric. He seldom comes to this village. Shh. Keep this a secret. I like the boy who's always with him. Which is Kaysen right there. Ha. <laughs> there we go. And we're going on a nice stroll. And... No, we're not. Alright. And here's the next battle. Uh... We're at the 25 minute mark, so I think I will end it here, and we'll just do slow going through this. Um, this is not too, not too terrible here. Um, it won't take too terribly long, there's some extra story, and we might have actually two straight battles next time, depending on how long it takes us to get through everything. Um, in any case, my name's Magnus, thank you for watching, if you like my content, please give me a like, and subscribe, and comment below. Uh, thank you for watching, see you next time.